Hello everyone, um, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to film a quick, quick tutorial on how to put a fishtail border onto your bracelets. So I have here this rope ladder bracelet. This is the one that I made in the tutorial. And uh, I put a fishtail border on it. And I kind of did that in the tutorial but didn't explain it. And I thought you would guys would be like, how do you do that, how do you do that? So I just thought I'd film a quick tutorial on how to make a fishtail bracelet and give you, your bracelet a fishtail border. So I'm not going to actually do a bracelet today. But um, we're just going to pretend that my loom here has, I'm going to start doing a bracelet. I'm going to get my fishtail color. Or of course you can make it a two color fishtail. That's what I'm doing today. And uh, of course you don't, well, if you're doing something for real, you would, you know, go out like this. But I'm not going to to do that in this tutorial because I don't have a real bracelet so they're just going to start up here and lay a simple border all right so we're placing the single chain band placement up the loom I will tell you that when you're, if you're actually doing this on a border to a bracelet, um, the only the side that you loop is gonna have fishtail on it. If you're doing a border for an you know, actual bracelet with like bands in here that you're um, looping up, uh, it, only one side will be the fishtail, and the other side will just be a single chain. When you just do it like this, a fishtail on the loom with nothing else on the loom, like I'm doing, um, uh, bleh, lost for words. Um, you you can get the fishtail on both sides, so it's actual fishtail. But um. I guess soon I'll show you how to do a fishtail on the hook, too, because that's cool. So, yeah, if you are doing an actual bracelet, you close it off and stuff, but I'm just going to go up and end at the top. i try to show you this. And then, what I'm going to do is I've placed all these bands in just a single chain placement like a normal border. I'm going to turn my loom around. All right, trying to center that there. <laughs> it's kind of hard when you're using the outer pin bar to get it right in the, where you can see it. All right, and then you're going to get one more band. And we're going to place it on this peg and twist it, so there's a loop by the peg, well, here, if you can say a loop by the peg, and a loop here, and you're going to pull it out like this, so the twist goes right by the peg, and pull this second loop over the peg, just like so, and you have a cap band, and there you'll get your hook, and what you're going to do is take this side of the hook like this, and go into the cap band, and push it back, pull out this bottom band and if you actually had something else on the loom here and this was the last step of looping for the border you'd pull it to here and then you'd pull it up to this peg if you were just doing a fishtail on the loom you would you would bring it to this peg in a single chain and then with your hook you would grab both loops and pull it up to there to the next pick. And now, this is, it's actually going to get kind of hard because you're going to want to go into this peg and loop, but there's actually, and then this band won't get looped, so you will go up peg by peg. You will look to see the next bottom band, which is this one, and you don't want to go up here, and you will pick up this band, and the bit to, actually, well, Maybe I was wrong. 
you will. So, get this band back on the bottom. I guess I never tried this without a border before. <laughs> Silly me. I probably should have done it. You will not. So, and then bring this one back. You'll only loop up to here. So this is actually going to be a reversible single and fishtail. And this is how it would be on the borders. That's I'm teaching you how to do a border, so uh, this is what I really should do. So bring up that first part to there. Pick up this band. Bring it up to here. And then pull the top part up to there. Go into here. You'll find the farthest up looped peg and go down one to find the next band you loop. Pull it up and then keep pulling the top up to here. So it kind of looks like this. Find this band, pull it up, and then keep going up to here. Find this band, pull it up to here, and then pull this top part you're looping up to there. Go in and find the next bottom one. Pull it up in a single chain and then one up. And go in. Pull up. And pull up. So guys, as I said before, this isn't really a tutorial on how to do fish shell bracelet loom length. Because you can't really do an all-sided fish tail on the just a loom length. You have to do it on the two pegs or on your hook. Um... Uh, anyway, um, so this is a tutorial on how to do a fishtail border. Um, this would be your border, and you'd have something else all looped on the loom already, and then you would be closing it off with these borders and looping it like this. But I just don't have anything on my loom because I wasn't didn't have time to get this whole bracelet set it out. I just wanted to do a tutorial on this. So just so you guys know, this is not how you do just a fishtail on, on a full loom length. This is how you do a fishtail border. Don't get confused. Because if you just had this, this won't turn out as a fishtail. It'll turn out as a reversible fishtail single, like I said. But anyway, hope that was understandable. <laughs> Let's go into this next peg and pull up this one. Go into the next peg, pull up this one, and pull it up to the next. There should be room, lots of room for you to pull in. So now find the next bottom band. It's very important that you're getting a little distracted and you pull it up to here, and then you just go into this one, pull this one up, and this will leave this one unlooped. So you want to make sure that. Um, you find the the next bottom band, you like go up here, oh, this is the next one, and you pull it up. Just like so. And the last one, you'll just pull up. As you would close a normal fishtail. Oh, I can't really see. The last one, you just pull up to here. Oops. Sorry about that. And now what you're going to do, excuse me while I adjust my camera, alright, is you can either pull band through or just clip this, um, I mean if you're, no, you, if you're doing a border, you would loop this in and do it on the other side too, the border, um, you would loop these in as a normal single chain, right, yep, that's what I did here, just some normal single chains and then I and you can see on this one, this side is a single chain border, this side is a fishtail. You can only get the top part. Um, so, yep, then, then you just you just loop this in for the border, and you pull band through and clip it, and you have your bracelet with a fishtail border. So, um, hope I did an okay job explaining the difference between a uh, fishtail loom length and a fishtail border because you can't really you gotta do it on the hook or two pegs to actually get a fishtail fishtail um, it's always been that way, it always will be but you can do a fishtail border, a one sided one and it, uh, I really love how this turns out
with the really nice borders for the bracelet. I will warn you, it sometimes makes it want to curl up a little bit, but when you put it on your wrist, it straightens out as long as it's not too loose. Like this one, you can see it's a little curly, but when I put it on, well, it, it's kind of loose on my wrist, but when I put it on um, my um, older brother's wrist, he's just a year older than me, it, um, it's, not, it's not too tight that it's uncomfortable, but it's not loose, and it really straightens out and looks really awesome. And another thing you can do is pull these to the side and then you get like the hook only fishtail border effect, but on a loom bracelet. Anyway, hope you like this tutorial again. Hope I did an okay job explaining the difference between the two things. And uh, don't forget to do all those social, all of our social media stuff that I say in the end of every video. And um, I will say goodbye now. Goodbye.